Hey y'all and welcome back. We have something very simple and very tasty today. I know you're thinking simple and tasty. Yeah, it can work. We're doing pigeon peas and grits and these are your ingredients. Now, of course, you can use your regular pigeon peas in the can, you know, the dry pigeon peas, or you can use the ones with the coconut milk, um, or you can use the fresh ones, uh, the dry ones that you can, you know, boil and all of that good stuff. I'm just taking the shortcut, all right? So right there, you saw me add some bacon fat. Now, usually you can cut up your bacon and you can add it to this if you want to. You can use your regular uh, canola oil, olive oil, grapeseed oil, whatever grease of choice you want to use. You can add it to there just to add a little bit of flavor. And again, it's your part. You do what you want to do. I promise you, it's going to be good. All right, now I can't give me no guarantee, but it's gonna be good. So I'm adding my tomato, which is, and I, I love to use plum tomato, fresh onions, diced up, as well as diced up bell peppers. Now, you can just let this go under medium to low heat for about five minutes. And you want it to be five minutes because you want those flavors to do what they do. You want them to come together, you want those um, a woman, and when I tell you this is gonna be smelling up the place, <laughs> this is gonna be smelling up the place. Most people think you know what you're doing in the kitchen, and you do. <laughs> so, you've added all of your um, fresh ingredients, and you're just gonna let those cook for about five minutes. Let it soften up, and then you're gonna add your pigeon peas. Now, personally, I don't like too much pigeon peas, and I'm cooking for a small crowd. So you see me add about half of a can there with some of the juices and then I'm just gonna take the rest of this, put it in a Ziploc bag and put it in the freezer for another time. So we're just gonna let those cook together for five minutes. I'm gonna put the lid on it. We're gonna stir it, make sure everybody meet everybody, peas, meat, tomato, tomato, meat, onion, and we're just gonna let it go for five minutes with the lid on. All right, and we're gonna add our tomato before we add the lid. So of course, you know the tomato paste is just gonna be in there because that's gonna give you a little bit more color, and just a little bit more flavor of what you want. So after five minutes, this is what you'll have. It's reduced a little bit, it's thickened up a little bit. It's looking a little bit, a little, you know, almost like a stew kind of situation, but it's not. And I'm just adding a little bit of browning. We're gonna stir that up and I know you're thinking, girl, where is the liquid? It's coming, but this is what you want. So if you happen to see this, you didn't miss a step, you didn't do anything wrong, this is what it's supposed to look like. And again, you wanna mind your temperature because if it's too hot, you're gonna scorch, you're gonna burn the bottom of it. And it's not It's not gonna be good. They'll talk about you if you bad. But you want this to be good and tasty. I promise you. At this point, you can add your liquid. Now, I'm just using plain water. You can add your stock, you can add uh, veggie stock, chicken stock, whatever kind of stock it, to your liking, you can add it. For me, I'm just adding water. Now, how much, I cannot tell you because I eyeball it and it will just cook. So we want that to come up to a boil and a rapid boil at that. So now that it's boiling, we're just gonna go ahead and sprinkle in the grits. You do not want to do a vigorous stir. You're not stirring concrete. This is just grits, okay? Very fragile, it won't hurt you. Just stir in the grits and you're just gonna keep stirring because you don't wanna just dump it in like you would rice. You run the risk of it being a grit ball. You wanna stir in your grits as you pour, stir. I know, for some people the coordination may be a little bit off, but you know, just take your time. It'll get done, it'll get done. So you're gonna pour until you feel a slight tug. And you're gonna, when I say slight tug, that means that your, your stir isn't as free if it were, as if it was just water. You, you'll know, you, you'll know when you get it done. And you just wanna do that just a little bit. And I know you're thinking, okay, that looks like a lot of water. You know, this thing, it'll just fall upon you real quick, but we do. You just let it go. You see that bubbling already? Just let it go and it'll cook. Five minutes with the lid on, this is what I have so far. So I'm stirring, and at this point, I this is where I add my seasoning. I'm just using regular chicken bouillon, and that's what works for me. I'm not using too much of it because of the salt content, but of course, 
you're gonna salt to taste. You can add your onion powder, your garlic powder, this is where you wanna do it. And you're just gonna let that go. Put the lid on it again. Reduce the heat just a little bit more on low. And this is what we have after about uh, five to 10 minutes on low. I'm just stirring, just making sure everything is still moving. And you know, just, just good. This is, this is what you want. This is what it should look like. I'm gonna put the lid back on this again, and this is after five minutes. Now you can go ahead and put uh, the lid back on there and just let it go for another five minutes because you know, I don't care what they say, quick bricks, uh-uh. We want those greens to be nice and soft and still free flowing, and this is your finished product. Now I had this with a piece of fish, some coleslaw and some plantains, and this is what you have, honey. Bon appetit.